working with a very special group of corals, black corals. They are a very good record of what happens in the sea around them. They grow in uh, circles so what happens is each circle captures all the uh, different chemicals that are around it since these corals can live very very long up to thousands of years we have a perfect record here of the conditions of the water during all these centuries that this animal lived here so if we analyze these different layers we can actually see how much the sea has changed throughout all these years these corals were used to study pollution so if you go to a harbor area and you collect one of these corals, so you can analyze the different rings and you can say before there were a lot of boats and before there was a lot of industry, the characteristics of the water were such, such and such. And from that you can extrapolate how this site should actually look in real life. So this is actually a baseline record that we have here in front of us. Project Baseline is helping me in several ways. The first one, they have these amazing gadgets that allow them to go very deep and collect samples where I would only have them from fishermen, so that is very nice. But I believe the great achievement of Project Baseline is this core idea that everybody can help to save the oceans and everybody can contribute. And this time, not marching down the street with some papers screaming, let's save the ocean, but actually doing something. By establishing these uh, location sites in different countries, you are actually providing information to people like me that will be able to interpret from it how these places are evolving and from that pass that information to the politicians and actually do something for these places to stay as they are now in the next 20, 50, 100 years. Project Baseline is the next revolution. It truly is the blue revolution of science where you have the power passing from the scientists to the users of these habitats.